very nice video for our engine, for our company. We appreciate a lot. So we decide to give to him a special gift. We will uh, give to you a factory with a special coloration. There's only one in the world. How is it? You deserve it. Good afternoon. We're starting this one kind of late. It's really loud, so I'm going to talk louder. Um, but we're here at Endless Foot Drag Part 2, and we got something freaking awesome, special, crazy awesome going on. So the guys at Viterazzi, which is the engine manufacturer on the Scout that I fly, and Scout themselves teamed up, and they actually just presented me with this awesome gift right behind my left shoulder. So what we got going on, I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups in a second, but this is a Viterazzi Moster factory, which is like their super special limited edition motor. It's got a titanium exhaust, a milled crankcase. They're using like all titanium hardware. It's um, supposed to be a little more racy, he says, um, but we'll see how she feels. I know she's a little bit lighter and a little bit more high performance. But I'm super stoked. You guys will see. This thing is freaking beautiful. Let me try to show you. Freaking titanium exhaust. Freaking blue crankcase. And we got America edition on the uh, hydro dip parts. They said it's the only blue anodized Viterazzi Moster factory in the world. So I am super thankful of both Viterazzi and Scout for putting this together. On the Scout frame side of things, We've got something special too. You might notice the difference in this frame here. This frame has been a work in progress from Miro for a while now. If some of you guys noticed back at the Iceland trip, we were actually on these like prototype new motors that were a little bit different. This is actually almost close to the final rendition. It's called the NXT and it's basically like a cross country monster. It's got a four and a half gallon tank Everything is set up for like comfort and cross country flying, which is awesome. You know, when I did the Icarus, I had to wear an extra bladder to get as close to five gallons, the legal limit of fuel as I could. This guy's got a four and a half gallon tank, so no bladder and I just fill her up and she's good to go for like four hours or something. I don't have much time to show you guys now. I wanna just briefly cover it and then we'll go up and fly her and break her in for 10 minutes and get some impressions. And then of course, when I get home, There'll be a lot of flying on this new motor. I'm going to start up for the first time ever and we're gonna go for like a quick 10 minute break and rip and then we're gonna do some more flying later. So stay tuned. Once again, I gotta give a huge thank you to Viterazzi and Scout. Um, Miro, you're the man. My new friends from Viterazzi, you guys rock. And uh, I really appreciate this beautiful freaking motor. Let's uh, go take her up for the first time ever. Super Scout, Scout Machine, Viterazzi Factory Edition. Totally rad. I don't know if you can hear, but the motor has a little bit of a different tone to it. It also has a different propeller on it. It's a, uh, a Helix, and it's apparently a lightweight version of the Helix. You know we gotta get a quick photo pass without colliding into a tandem. Just scooch in front of this guy, swing around this guy. It's absolute madness up here. All right, so first impressions on this new Scout. 
like I mentioned, uh, we actually got to fly the prototypes in Iceland and even a trip before I really started YouTube. The big thing is when you launch this guy, it's so easy. The original Scout has like a different thrust angle that makes it a little bit more difficult to launch, but once you get used to it, it's really not a big deal. This one, the thrust angle is completely flat to your back. So you can take off super, super easy, which is good for cross-country stuff. That's the whole uh, drive of this motor is for cross-country flying. The other thing, it's mad comfortable. Like the seat's a little bit bigger and you've got just like plenty of room to wiggle around out here. Weight shift is actually nice and locked. It really feels good. It feels a lot like the original Scout. Ah, it's Mr. Matt Minyard. <laughs> Sup, big guy? Freaking tandem mobile. Impressions on the motor, it feels great, super smooth. They were talking about the different uh, harmonics on this engine because they use different materials and different tolerances and everything. It feels mad smooth. Let's crank some turns. Freaking Johnson on the Maverick. Coming in hot, brother. Easy does it. I think the sound is a little bit different on this too. It sounds a little quieter almost. I don't know if you can tell in the audio. I think I'm gonna bring her in for a landing and I actually wanna see if there's any other pilots that want to take her for a rip, try out the factory, try out the Scout NXT. So freaking smooth. All right, Mike. Let's uh, set up for a bit of a landing, Mike. High five. Mr. Doran Martin's taking her for a rip. Doran's a regular scout pilot, part of the Paradigm Aerobatic team, super good pilot. So he's gonna rip it around a little bit and see what he thinks. What'd you think, Mr. Doran? It was nice. The yeah. harness is a little bit different. Yeah. I'm not sure if I like it or not, yeah. but I could get used to it. The engine, it seemed like it ran really smooth. Yeah. And it had a lot of power. Yeah. And the power was really quick. I felt like more power than my E-Prop, but just this quick acceleration. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's super smooth. It doesn't have that mid-range, like bah, bah, bah kind of thing. Yeah. All right, man, so this is the new Adam 80. Yeah, the new one, just born. Just born now because we developed in three years. And in the, in the final, we have a one engine with 10.5 kilograms, uh, 55 kilogram thrust, uh, born for beginners, born for people that have the first approach, uh, for the school of PPG, for the people that want to have uh, a life uh, easy, don't want too much weight on the yeah. back. Uh, they want to be, they, it is a different way how to fly. This engine is special for lady, for uh, young guy, for skin guy, for one world that uh, right now have a difficult because all the engines are heavy and too much powerful. Yeah, that's the thing I'm stoked about. Like the Moster Plus is my go-to engine and it's yeah. great for experienced guys or like heavy guys, 
but new beginners can kind of get themselves in trouble with that much thrust and weight. But this thing looks sweet, and I'm about to take it out for a flight. Yeah. So uh, the real yeah. name of this uh, engine is Easy. Yeah. Because it is easy in any way. Also, the maintenance is easy. The low consumption, everything is easy. If you test, you will love it. You never leave. Awesome, man. I'm gonna take her up for a rip. We'll see how it goes. Hi, Jess. Left-handed yeah. pull start. Dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too smooth. It sounds like an electric engine. That's what I thought. <laughs> what? It's like cheating. <laughs> oh man. Do you hear this thing? You can't hear this thing. It's too damn quiet and smooth. I don't even know that there's an engine on my back. <laughs> We're just flying all the setups tonight. This wing I'm on is a gin carve 20 meter. I feel like I don't even have to yell, it's so quiet. And uh, this is a wing I've wanted to fly for a while. I hear from a lot of guys that this is like a bigger wing than I normally fly, but it's very responsive for its size. And so far, I kind of agree with that. We'll rip it out a little bit more later. But check out this motor. 80 cc's. Here I'm at cruise. Let's see how she climbs. Oh, yeah. I can rock with that. I mean, this is a, a 20 meter wing, so it's not gonna require as much to climb, but that's very respectable. Oh yeah, she goes. Most definitely. Muy bien. Gin carve, I like it. And I like this motor. The interesting thing about what they are uh, doing with this motor, they're not really trying to like replace any other small displacement motors. They just wanted to make something that was beginner friendly. Perfect for the guy that wants to get into the sport and might be a smaller, lighter pilot and is maybe intimidated by a heavy motor and a lot of power. Like you saw, even down to the starting procedure, I pull started it with my left index finger. That's like how easy it is and what they've tried to focus on. They even said uh, the silencer they made specifically with a double silencer system so that it's quieter for like noise pollution in schools and it's like less intimidating and all that. But it's got respectable power, it's super lightweight, and the cool thing they said they're trying to make it super cost efficient so that anyone can buy this. A lot of people want to get into the sport and they see the price tag for new gear and they buy this used gear that's like really sketchy and uh, they don't really have that much success because having good quality gear is super important. But if you could get it at an affordable price, brand new with a warranty, it's like a no brainer. Yeah, this wing freaking rips for a 20 meter. Now my man Matt Minyard is the guy that loaned me this wing. And uh, he actually has a 16 meter, which is like the only one in the world, and a box over there. 
I might try to go pull that out and fly it before the sun sets. Hey, it's Doran. He stole my wing. What up, mate? That's my wing. He looks like me. Boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> Freaking shred it. That's the new motor, too. Doran's killing it. He's breaking it in for me. Man, this motor is so quiet and so smooth, I literally don't feel like any vibration at any throttle range. He's pulling so much brake to slow down to my speed. Skirt! <laughs> Killing it! Gain a little bit of energy. <laughs> that was a freaking slow motion barrel roll. All right, I think I'm gonna bring her in for landing. You can't even hear this thing at idle. It's just wind noise and this little microwave sound. It's like. <laughs> It. it sounds like a microwave. It's like <laughs> the climb rate, rate was respectable. I mean, it's a 20 meter, but it was still not slow at all. It's super awesome, man. It's so quiet. All right, I just got back from flying the um, Jin Carve 20 meter on the uh, the little AC, ADCC, the Atom 80 from Vitarazzi. Super awesome setup. I really like the wing, and it's pretty big, but it was really responsive. My man, Matt Minyard, he actually brought the only, the world's only 16 meter um, gin carve, which I don't think he's ever flown because it's still in the box. And uh, I mean, obviously. So I'm gonna pull it out of the box. I hope Matt doesn't mind. I think he's up flying tandems right now, but we got like 15 more minutes of sunlight. So I wanna rip her out of the box and we'll go for a flight and uh, see how she flies. More spicy, spicier than the average. She's fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a responsive wing right there. I want to get some uh, airspace to myself over here. Try a couple mild wing overs. We'll see how she goes. No joke, I feel like I'm climbing really fast. I don't really know if it's the wing or the motor, but I like it. I'm gonna try some nice mild wing overs. See how she plays. Oh yeah, she carves all right. And barrel rolls pretty well too. Right next to our tandem. real quick. Wow, she uh, has a quick recovery arc. My free ride tends to hang in that diving position much longer. This thing, like, you gotta almost time it faster because it's already hooking out of the, uh, the arc. Hey, it's Matt Minyard. I gotta get down with him. <laughs> he asked me to unbox this wing and check it out and I feel freaking privileged to get the first rip on her. I'm sad he wasn't there to bring her out of the box, but here he is now. Yeah, dude. 
It's so good. Wow, this thing is fun. In terms of like my free ride, which I fly most often now, it has a much quicker recovery arc. It's got maybe a little bit more brake pressure. It might almost be faster, which is obscene. Dude, look at this thing. I'm not normally like that comfortable right away on a new wing, but look at this thing. It just freaking tears it up. Like it's no big deal. I like that a lot. This thing is on rails though. I just went through some tandem weight and it did all right. We got Woody and Mark Honeycutt, AKA Hark Moneycut. Whoop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Just gracefully touching tips with Mr. Mark Honeycutt. All right, I think I'm gonna get in the laning pattern and come in. I'd really like to see if anyone else wants to try this beast out. I'm impressed. It's just so solid on rails. It's just wake everywhere. Shout out to Canyon. <laughs> ah! Doran, fly it. It's good. So I just realized how late it's gotten and I never filmed an outro, but uh, we just cleaned up and hung out for a while, ate some dinner. Shout out to the Martin family for feeding us. Today was an action packed day. We started it late, got the new scout machine with the Moster factory edition. I was thinking about it a little more. What I really want to do with that motor is just do like more Icarus kind of stuff. Go out and fly really far. I'm super stoked on the factory, super stoked on the new Scout NXT frame. Um, I'm sure I mentioned at some point, it's not at all replacing the old Scout, but it's a new addition specifically geared towards cross country flying like that. So I'm stoked to do some cross country flying with it and uh, I'm sure you guys will see more of it in the future. Once again, gotta give another huge thank you to Scout and Viterazzi for teaming up and gifting me that awesome paramotor. Other than that, we flew a bunch of new wings. The new Viterazzi Atom 80 was super awesome. After that, we flew the freaking Matt Minyard 16 meter uh, rocket ship. That was tight. I like that wing, I've never felt like that comfortable on a brand new wing, but that thing I could just tear around and feel real comfortable on. So lots of thank yous to people today because it was an exceptional day of trying out different gear and new things all around. Huge thank you to Canyon, my main Canyon from Team Fly Halo for helping me out with the gear and uh, filming and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop being weird and sitting by this taxi light. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was completely different, unique, all over the place, trying new stuff. But uh, smash that like button if you liked it and hit the subscribe button if you uh, wanna stick around for future stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out.